Hi everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to download Flutter as well install Android Studio and run your first Flutter application. So I will be showing you how to download Flutter as well as how to download and install Android Studio and configure it with Flutter. So I will be showing you literally everything. So let's get started. So first just go to your browser and type Flutter download. So you will be getting this link over here, install Flutter documentation, just click it. And in this you will be having an option called as install. So you will be having Windows, Mac OS, Linux and Chrome OS. So we are going to install this one in Windows. Just click on Windows. And in the Windows install you will be having all the necessary things. It, it will show you operating system, the disk space, the tools, everything that is required over here. First thing we need to install Git. Okay. So you will be having the first tools as Git for Windows. Just click it. It will take you to the Git official website and here you need to click on 64-bit Git for Windows setup. So just click it and download will be automatically getting started which is about 50 MB in size. So just click it and click on open. Just click on yes and you will be having the Git setup over here and just click on next. The location you can change it if you want. Next again. And I think, yeah, you can just play around with it. I think the default one is good. Just click on next. Next. I think next for everything is fine. Yeah. Yeah. So the installation will start. And just uncheck it and just click on finish. So if I just go to search and type git, you'll be having the git bash app over here. And I think you need to also add the git path in the environment variables. So just go and search environment. You will be having this option called as edit the system environment variables. Just click on open. Click on environment variables. And in this you will be having the system variables over here. You will be having this path. Just click it and click on edit. And here you can see right this particular path gets automatically added. I would also recommend you to add another path which is C program files git and bin. So for that you need to go to like this PC, C, program files, you will be having the git and go to bin, copy this over here. So this is the path, copy it and just click on new and paste it and just click on ok. So basically you will need to have both these paths ok. This path was automatically added and I just added this additional path. So this is fine now. So just click on OK everywhere. So if you want to check whether we have successfully installed Git, just go to command prompt and let me just zoom in a bit. Yeah, and I will type git hyphen version. So you'll be getting the Git version, which means that you have successfully installed Git on your system. So that's well and good. So I'll just come back. Yeah, so the next thing that we need to do is we need to just download the Flutter SDK. Okay, so this will get downloaded in the form of a zip file. So here you can see, right, just click it. So here you can see it is about 819 MB in size. Once the download is complete, just go to your downloads folder and here you will be having this Flutter windows. Just right click it and just click on extract all. And I will just first extract in my downloads folder itself. Later then I will just copy it and paste it in some other folder. So just click on extract at first. So once the extraction is complete, you will be having the Flutter's folder over here, which will be present inside downloads, this Flutter windows and inside that we will be having the Flutter folder. And these are some of the folders that are present within that. So after this, just cut this Flutter folder or copy it. I will go with cut, just cut it and you need to go to local disk C. And what they have mentioned in the official documentation is that you need to create another folder known as source and then paste inside it. So I will do the exact same thing. I think you can even paste directly. But I'll go what what has been said in the official documentation. So it's going to be SRC. And inside this, just paste the extracted Flutter folder. So just paste it. So this will be done fast. And the next thing what you need to do is you need to add the Flutter path in the environment variable. So, so the path is going to be, I think it's Flutter and bin. So let me just scroll down. Yeah, here you can see it's full path to Flutter bin. So we need to go to Flutter and inside that we will be having this bin folder. Just click it and click over here. So it's going to be local to see source flutter and bin. Let me just now copy it. And again, the same procedure, just go to search and type environment. You'll be having the edit the system environment variables, open it, click on environment variables, go to path in system variables, click on edit, click on new, paste it and just click on okay everywhere. Yeah, again, we will go to comment prompt and check. 
so this is my command prompt I will zoom in a bit so this time we will be running the command flutter doctor or we can just run flutter at first but let me go with flutter doctor so we will be getting welcome to flutter which means that we have done all the necessary things we have added the right path and we have installed it so here you can see we have got the flutter stable 3.3.10 and here you can see android tool chain developed for android devices unable to locate android sdk so we are getting this particular error because we haven't installed android studio so that is going to be the next step so just go to the same website and just scroll down so yeah the same thing for the doctor we have done this and next thing is going to be android start setup so install android studio so you'll be having this download and install android studio you can just click here it will directly take you the official website where you can download android studio so if you don't know like how to find this simple just go to go to search and type android studio you'll be getting the download android studio and tools click it and you'll be getting the exact same thing over here as well so let me just click on download android studio so it will ask you like the terms and conditions just click on agree and download so this will also take some time it is about 900 mb in size so once the download is complete just click on open so just click on yes and you'll be getting the android studio setup just click on next and yeah just check this as well android studio and android virtual device this is also really really important so just check it and click on next this is going to be the default location i am fine with this and i will click next android studio yeah and i will click install so it's going to be a pretty much straightforward installation and click next now and just click on start android studio and click on finish so you will be getting the import android studio settings just click on do not import settings and click on ok so it's android studio dolphin i think this is currently the latest version and just click on next okay don't send that's fine i will click next type of setup you want for android studio just click on standard and click next so this is like the light and the dark mode i will go with just the dark mode itself and i will click next so these are going to be some of the components that are going to be installed we have android emulator i think that is the most important thing out of all so this is fine i will just click on next and this is some of the license agreement that we need to do so just click here and click on accept after that you need to click on this intel android and as well click on accept and click on finish so now i will it will take a long time to download all the necessary components so just be patient so once all the necessary components are downloaded just click on finish and you'll be getting this welcome to android studio over here so let me just minimize all so you'll be getting this welcome to android studio so first thing what you need to do is you need to install the flutter plugin so just go to plugins and you need to go to marketplace so nothing has been installed now just go to marketplace and you need to search for flutter so you'll be getting this flutter and just click on install so third party plugin yeah just click on accept and just click on install as well so it's from flutter.dev so just click on restart ide restart so again it will open the welcome to android studio dialog box and now you need to click on more actions and here you will be having an option called as SDK Manager. Just click it. And in this, you need to go to SDK Tools and you need to check Android SDK Command Line Tools. Just click it. This is important. As well, just scroll down. You'll be having all these Google things, right? So you, I will go with Google Web Driver, Google USB Driver, Google Play Services, and Google Play Licensing Library. So these are some of the important things. I think it may be not used, but it's better to install them and just click on Apply and just click on ok as well so these necessary like packages or libraries will be getting installed now just click on finish and just click on apply and ok so again you will be having the welcome to android studio but you will be having this new flutter project option now so just click it and you need to just select flutter over here from the list of like languages just click flutter and you need to select the flutter sdk path so just click on browse so this path is going to be the path that we actually downloaded and extracted and pasted in local disk C so just go to C and you need to go to source and just click on flutter and ok so this is going to be the flutter SDK path just click on next 
and here you need to specify your project name so i will go with first project so i think there shouldn't be any space i guess yeah if i just now click on finish yeah there can be any space so i will just put an underscore maybe yeah this is now fine and yeah i will go with application com dot example you can just play around with that i will just keep, keep with the normal stuff and next i will just click on finish so it will take some time to create your first flutter project especially you are like doing it for the first time so this is what you get after creating your first flutter project so here you can see main dot dot so this is basically the flutter code i think we will be getting an increment counter app whenever we press a button the count of that particular like a value will be incremented on each press so that app that's a default app actually so this is some basic dot code dot is the language so you can see that's why we name the file as main dot dot over here so now we need to find a device to run our flutter project okay so we can manually connect our phone through a usb and run it but i will show you a much better way by using a virtual mobile device so for this you need to click on this device manager icon over here just click it and you will be having this virtual physical so i will go with virtual and to click on create device over here so just click on create device and you will be having the virtual device configuration so i will go with phone there are many options there is tablet tv as well i will go with phone and i will just go with pixel 5 you can also like play around with that there are many categories over here these many available so i will just go with pixel 5 for now and i will just click on next and here you need to select the android version so here you can see we are having oreo pi and many other things so i will just select yes and you need to just click on this download icon click it and you need to agree to this license accept and just click on next so it will take some time to install so just be patient so once it is installed just click on finish and i will just select that particular image so it's called as image and i will just click on next and this is going to be the name you can just like, give the custom name as well i will just give it the default name itself and here also you can select the orientation whether it's portrait or landscape i will go with the default one and i'll just click on finish so yeah so here you can see i have now got a device added over here so let me just now close it so now you need to go to this particular drop down list like to the left of main dot dot select it and you need to just click on refresh so just refresh a couple of times so that like the pixel 5 that is the particular virtual device that you have installed now appears over here so here you can see currently i'm having that one open android emulator pixel 5 api 30 so this is the particular device that i added now so just i will select that we will be getting the phone over here so this is basically the pixel 5 phone itself okay the emulator basically like a real phone will be emulated virtually in our android studio itself so once you have got this phone open like this you need to just hit on the play icon over here or run icon okay basically run icon just hit it and your application will now appear on your virtual device so once it is done we are like completed with our entire flutter setup and the opening of this particular device basically depends upon your processor and your ram speed so after some time you will be getting your first app build so this is the first app okay this is the, like the demo page so it really took a long time to load so since that is the first time we are doing it so i think you can see this is flutter demo page let me just now like expand it so here you can see right this is the default app that we will get every time when we create a new flutter project so this is that i told you right so if i just press this button this counter will be automatically getting incremented so i'll just like yeah if i just click on this button so here you can see that right, the count is automatically getting incremented for each click so if you get this without any error so here you can see i'm not having any problems over here so which means that flutter has been successfully configured in your system as well as in android studio and you could do much more flutter apps and projects so i hope you would have found this video useful i have also run many other tutorials in c c plus java python node.js react.js mongodb mysql so do check other videos of my channel Subscribe me. Thanks for watching.